Natalie Parchman, and I am a zookeeper here at Sequoia Park Zoo. I'm one of the full-time zookeepers, but I have been here as a zookeeper for about seven years, and I started as a volunteer about 10 years ago. Sequoia Park Zoo is the fourth smallest accredited zoo in the country, and so we are a small staff. And so what's fun about that is that we run the whole zoo with three zookeepers here every day. And so those are the three primary zookeepers. I'm in charge of the north side, so essentially it's everything north of the Flamingo Bridge, which includes the primates, the bush dogs, the new otter habitat, and then the Secrets of the Forest building. So I've been here at Sequoia Park Zoo since 2007, and it's been a really neat time to be part of the zoo because we've taken down some of the older structures, and in the 10 years that I've been here, we've brought in some new animals like the red pandas, and that's a brand new habitat. And of course, the river otter habitat. And that's very new school to build habitats with an ecosystem and a water feature so that we can show what river otters would really need to thrive in nature. And then when you look at the north end of the zoo, it's still kind of the older side of the zoo. So the Gibbons are in an exhibit that was built in 1980, and in 1980 that was a top of the line enclosure. And so although it is outdated, those animals in there have everything they need to thrive. So it's a nice time to see the difference between some of the old structures still being here and still being enclosures, and then looking into the future of what a Gibbon habitat would look like versus the exhibit that they're in now. So we're really excited about the next step here in our master plan is that we're going to be building a new exhibit bringing back native predators. And when we are working out the design concept, of course we've got this beautiful forest in the backdrop. And so some of our developers of this concept of native predators decided that it would be really neat and we're gonna do a canopy walk. So essentially when you walk through native predators, you're gonna be surrounded by bears and coyotes and you start walking up an incline and it's gonna take you 150 to 250 feet up into the Sequoia Park behind us. So it's really going to be amazing and it's funny because people ask, well are you going to put any animals up there? And no we're not because there are so many amazing animals that live in the forest behind us.